So, you've been saving a lot of money, and finally bought an iPad, plus obviously all the necessary accessories. You unboxed it, set it up, and even scrolled on Pinterest for hours and hours to find the perfect wallpaper. And now that you're ready to use it, you just don't know where to start. Well, don't fret my friend, as I'm here, and I'm going to show you the first steps that you're going to take to get the most out of your iPad. Now that we finally have the iPad that we wanted, there are two things that you need to focus on if you want to master your iPad and be the productive student you always wanted to be. Focus mode and the files app. Focus mode is just my absolute favorite. It's like a do not disturb but with steroids. I'm constantly using it on all my Apple devices because I don't want to be interrupted whenever I work. And this not only works if, if I enable it, but I can set it up to activate itself on certain hours or places. Let me show you what I mean exactly and how you can use it, okay? Now, go into settings and then tap on focus. Here you can see some of the focus mode already set up by Apple, ready to go just in case you don't want to bother much. But you're here because you want to master your iPad. so. To hit the plus up button in the corner and tap into custom. Here you can choose an icon which will appear on your screen whenever you enable that mode so you can try to choose something that really fits when you're using it and you can choose also the color. Next, you can choose the people and apps that are allowed to break into this focus mode. Whenever I'm in my currently studying focus mode I'll only get notifications from my partner because I set it up like that or from central apps that I allow to break into my mode. I can receive notifications from my calendar app. Then you can set a schedule. This is quite useful because you can choose it, you can set it up by time, location, or app. Now, on to the next one, and one of my favorites, and I think actually quite important one, is the files app. This was made by Apple some years ago to help you or to make the iPad a bit similar to the MacBook which it won't be because the system iPadOS it's just an iOS but on a bigger screen but we won't get into that. The thing is the two most important things in this app are the iCloud drive where you can have all your documents on iCloud, you can, all the documents you have on the MacBook or on the iPhone, you will continue working on them here. You go to iCloud Drive, there it is, here they are, all the folders with all the documents, or tags. Hear me out. Tags are extremely important. I use them constantly. I'm constantly setting it up. Why? because it makes my life easier. For example, now I do have some uh, linguistic tag and English literature tag and English classes for, for when I was teaching English, um, civil law, constitutional law to whatever document. For example, you're writing an essay. Okay, so you just um, create a new tag, which is essay one. You've downloaded some videos, pictures, some documents that you're going to use for your essay. You press onto that file and you go to the part that says tags. You tag in into the essay tag. So whenever you go and you're in, you are going to work into that essay, you say, okay, I need to work into that essay. Where, where was it? Where was it? Don't worry. You have it. Where? On the tag. You press the tag and here it is. It's just as simple as that. Next, you got your iPad for school. So you're going to take notes. How? I don't know. That depends on the person. Maybe you want to type them or maybe you want to handwrite them. That's up to you. If you want to type them, well, it's easy. You just choose a keyboard. In my case, I do have this wonderful Logitech keyboard. I think there's another one where you can detach the part from the keyboard. You also have the Magic Keyboard or you have thousands and endless of keyboards online. I will just make a video of that. But if you're going to type them, you just have the general apps that which are Microsoft Word or, for example, here, 
you have the pages app which i really like it's from apple it's free you just already have it on your ipad it's quite easy to use this has this beautiful minimalistic apple like look so just check it out to see if it works for you if it's not just download the microsoft word but if you want to handwrite you also bought the apple pencil because you want to take notes by hand okay and i won't say a huge amount of apps but there are some apps however there are for me three main apps okay the three most important ones notability good notes and apple notes people don't usually mention it but it's quite good you should try it. you have it for free it's from apple it's linked to all my apple devices so if i write a note on my phone i will open my ipad and i will have it there and i just continued writing them i can scan a document scan text take a photo or a video choose a photo or a video even record audio one of the things that i use it the most not only to take quick notes i scan the documents here i scan the documents with my iphone and then I open the app on my iPad and I just take notes there. You can obviously, obviously you can download the document and use it on your good notes, but sometimes I just want to take some quick notes there, some annotations of several pages, etc. So I just do it here and hope for the best. It's quite easy. It works perfectly for me. You should try it and see if it works for you it's free it's just easy to use and it's linked to all your apple devices then i use notability but i didn't quite like it so i'm going to talk to you about good notes if you want to know more about notability you can search on youtube there are thousands of videos comparing the two of them which one is better how to use notability how to use good notes but i'm going to show you why i prefer good notes so you open the app okay you have this plus bottom here and you press it and then you can choose if you want a notebook a study set a folder a image to scan a document which i don't really recommend i much rather prefer to scan the documents on notes but it's up to you to take a photo to import something or to take a quick note a quick note you can also double tap there and that's it you can also change the template if you want a dark paper color, a white paper color, if you want ruled, dotted, blank, white, flashcard, they have all pre-made here and you can also choose the size if you want an A4, an A5, it depends if you're going to print them later on or which kind you prefer, it doesn't matter. Now that you're here, you're going to see that there's actually not that much of a difference from Apple Notes yeah i know this is a bit more professionally made the other one looks more like oh you just have it this it's like this is a mollusk kind and the other one is just a pad notes or notepad you know you know so yeah you have the pen you can choose which kind of pen you want you want the fountain pen the brush pen the ball pen i usually use the ball pen you can use the size of hip you can change colors you can use the rubber eraser you can use the highlighters with you can choose the size of it and you can also custom your colors and change the colors i usually use pastel color i usually use pastel colors because when i study a lot and it's this bright high color it gives me some eye tension and pastel color just works better for me you can also you have the shape tool the shape tool is when you i don't know you want to quickly draw a circle you you want it to be perfect but you don't have time to be perfect or you just don't know i don't know how to write how to draw a perfect circle so you just draw it hold the ring and then the perfect shape will appear it's like magic wonderful now you have the lasso tool the lasso tool is the one i use the most here and it's quite funny because I thought I wouldn't use it that much and actually I can't live without it. So you choose the word, the part, whatever you want to use, you press onto it and then you can cut, copy, delete if you want to, if you don't want to use the eraser, duplicate, resize. This is the one I use the most. You don't know how many times I use this. I can make it bigger or make it smaller. 
whatever it fits your notes thank you very much for sticking up with me and i'll see you soon to teach you more how to become an academic weapon and how to use all your devices to be more productive student have a very nice day bye